Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video and in today's video we're going to be playing a game called Robin. So I know little about it but what I do know is that it's going to be chill and it reminds me of a certain YouTuber's editor which is Robin. This game is based on the spoon therapy. If you have any health concerns please seek a doctor. Oh boy, here we go. So all of your blood tests have come back. You really couldn't find anything? But why do I feel so tired all the time? Oh no, I know what this is about. At least we've eliminated what it could be. I suppose. Something tells me it's going to be an up here issue. Maybe it's all in my head or maybe I'm just lazy. I hate the word lazy so much. Feeling defeated, Robin decided to spend the long weekend at home in order to recover s some energy. This is her weekend. Oh no. Hey. Okay, it's too early to sleep. Pick up clothes, water plants, do some work, browse the internet, feed Robin, take a shower. So a lot of these take up. Read a book. Okay, first let's pick up clothes. Hmm. Make something to eat. I'm busy. Oh, because you're physically <laughs> making something to eat. That's cute. Oh, I love that. Okay. Feed Robin. Make sure you feed your bird. Oh, you're looking a little happier, which is good. And then. I'm going to take a shower. And then we'll water plants go to bed. If this is what I think it is, which I have a feeling it is, then you're too tired for anything else. Okay, that's fine. Go to bed. So it's March 1st. You looked over at your unwatered plants. You should have you shouldn't have forgotten to tend them this weekend. The foul smell of unwashed dishes keep you awake. You have to do them soon. You sigh. It's been a while since you did something fun. Navigating on social media. You glance up on your backlog of books. Someday you go around to reading them. You feel very guilty you didn't do any work on your novel. You wake up feeling even more exhausted than usual. My girl, I think you got something called depression. Jay's calling. Hey Robin, having a nice weekend? Uh, yeah, what's up? I want free tickets to the movies. Wanna come? It sounds pretty tiring, but I miss Jay. Of course, been wanting to hang out. Awesome, meet you at the usual spot. Yep, see you soon. See ya. Decisions to see. But it's good to watch a movie, so... Let's keep on rolling, then. I guess as Jay and me, we look very similar, very cute. But that took up a lot of our schedule. Okay, let's wash some dishes, and then go straight to bed. Yeah, and then go to bed. Go to bed. Your stomach rumbles keeping you awake, although you're exhausted you had made a sandwich in the night. You look over the unwatered plants, you should have done them. Robin chirps in a distance. She sounds upset. You feel filthy, you're too tired. It was a tiring day still. Okay, let's water plants. Let's now that all the plants are watered, we're gonna browse the internet. And then we'll do some work on and we'll go to bed. Come on, do some work. Maybe we can see if we can read. I don't know. You're too tired for everything else, but go to bed. That's fair, honestly. Your stomach rumbles. Robin chirps. You feel filthy. You dirt. You close the pile up. You glance at the books. Robin has a ton of fun this weekend, but ignoring her responsibilities. This weekend ahead is going to be harder because of it. Hopefully she can manage. Robin. Okay, so I'm just going to try again. Different versions. I think... <coughs> sorry. What the game is trying to tell Robin is that she has depression. That's my take on the game. I obviously do not know because I'm not a proper therapist or psychologist. Psych you know, anyone who is qualified. 
But this is all so familiar. <laughs> Let's read a book. Um, because you've got so many things to do, but when the day is where it's just so tiring, the last thing you really want to do is a lot of things. So simple things like getting out of bed and having a shower can be a lot of energy. And I completely understand this is probably what this person is also going through, which is interesting to see it being done in a game format. So we'll feed Robin and then we'll see what else. Do, do, do. do we have energy for anything else other than bed? You're too tired for anything else but go to bed? I'm just double checking. You're too tired, tired. Yeah. So we go to bed. I just want to do like another circuit through just see if I can do anything different or come up with a different result. This time I'm going to say no to the phone call. Jay's calling. I'll say no. I just can't say. Oh, that's okay. You must be busy. Sorry, Jay. That's okay. Talk to you later. Okay, so we're going to eat and wash dishes. We'll definitely wash the dishes next. So we read a book, done some work. So we've kind of done one, two, three, four. I want to wash dishes. And then we will put the clothes away and then go to bed. Look at your water and water plants. They should have been watered. Robin chirps. You sigh. It's been a while since you've been on social media. It was a tiring day still. So let's water plants. Make sure we feed our little bird Robin. And then we're gonna do clothes and then have a shower. Because we have not showered and it's probably not good. I know no matter what I'm gonna do is probably come up with the same outcome. But I wanted to play it anyway. Just to see. And just like that, the weekend is over. Oh, tell me new. After a whole week being responsible, Robert didn't have much fun. She prepared for the coming week for work, but is unsure if she'll be able to get out of bed tomorrow. Alright, so there are different endings. La -da -da -da. So for this next round. Let's try doing only fun stuff. So only checking social media, feeding the bird. You know, just going out like that type of stuff. The stereotypical, like, fun type of stuff. We'll do one, two, three, bed, I think it is. We'll feed the bird, water plants, and then go to bed. I think that's a good little... Circuit. Yep, more plants. Oh, I might be too early for that. Yeah, it's too early to sleep. Okay, um, if that's the case, we're going to read a book and then we'll go to sleep. Well, I like the art style that this is done in. It's really cool. We're going to bed and we're sleeping. So that was a lot of. What we've done just then is what I call like self cleaning so it's a lot of like taking care of stuff like your plants your own personal things so Jay's calling so we're gonna go out this time so that's gonna take up a like most of our time but that will make us probably the happiest because you're out with friends and stuff like that and I'll have a bit of a talk at the end of this video just because I think it is something worth kind of mentioning and you're too tired for anything else. We'll finish off this round. So let's again uh actually we'll clean clean brows. I think we'll do that. Clean clean brows. Oh I don't need to clean because they're already clean. Cool, so we'll browse the internet. Feed Robin and then go to bed. I think that's a good little cycle. Good 
on now. Alright, what are you gonna tell me now? And just like that, the weekend is over. Robin has had fun this weekend. Hopefully she can still manage. Alright. So that's kind of it for Robin. And I want to just kind of talk about it as a personal level. Um, again, don't take anything I say as 100% factual, true, or correct. I am not a, you know, a therapist, a psychologist, a doctor, a nurse. I'm not anything in the professional realm, nor do I have a degree or anything like that behind me. The only thing I can say I have is a mental first aid check or a mental first aid certificate, which means I know how to help people with mental first aid scenarios does not make me qualified though for this particular discussion I'm about to have. Me in particular, I see this as depression because they find it difficult to just get out of bed. You know, putting their clothes away is a lot. This isn't someone who's lazy. Lazy and depressed are two different things. I am a person, as a lot of you know, because I talk about it all the time, but um, I suffer with depression and anxiety. Depression is not that you're just sad all the time. You go through waves of being really happy and, you know, living your best life and all of this stuff to, for me in particular, all of a sudden having no emotion or just lots of negativity and self-hatred and just to the points where it could be suicidal thoughts and all those things in between. When I do have those depressed days, like it kind of showed in this, like eating is difficult, getting out of bed is difficult, not because I'm lazy but because it's so mentally draining to the point where I'm just like, what's the point of me getting out of bed? I'm just going to be back here in a couple of hours having to sleep or, you know, what's the point of me eating? I'm too fat for that anyway even though I'm, you know, healthy weight or what's the point of me having a shower or I'm just sweat as soon as I get out all of this types of stuff and brain tends to go into overdrive and you just kind of feel like you're trapped in your own body and you're just stuck there but some of the ways that can help is try and do things that make you happy so if it's a face mask do that if it's like chain of friends or whatever and I know that I'm saying this and some of you who probably are the same boat as me who suffer from depression who is actually diagnosed with it is probably like, oh that's easier said than done. And I do agree, it is definitely easier said than done. But if you have a particular person that you talk to when you're having your down days, just send them a, like a text just being like, oh, feeling down, or whatever your code word is, or if you don't want to talk to anyone, that's fine, chuck up a YouTube video and just watch that. Just, just spend the day doing that if it becomes a week-long thing you know turning into months and then professional help might be needed you know talking to a therapist a psychologist a psychiatrist whichever is the most comfortable for you and also remember that just because you've talked to one doesn't mean that you have to stay with that one forever you can talk to different people and then stay with whoever you feel most comfortable with I thought I'd just give that as a little PSA at the end but this was definitely a non-positive but positive game. It's also free on Steam if you want to play. Not sponsored, but I just want to say it anyway. It's good to play a lot of like mental health games. I quite enjoy that, especially someone who's learning constantly about mental health and those types of areas. It's good to play. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>